So a pair, a man, two 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 men, swapped six thousand fake iPhones with real ones by replacing serial numbers. Sentenced to fifty seven and fifty four months in prison, and they got fined big money. Um, so basically, what they were doing is now let's see the two fraudsters from maryland cheated apple out of 2.5 million dollars worth of iphones and have been given lengthy prison sentences along with a restitution fine the fraud was a clever one but we have seen it in the past this is not new involving fake iphones traded in for new iphones so here's how how's you here's how it works pretty clever right pretty clever but don't you know you're gonna get caught like uh so here's what here's what they do and i actually have one of these devices here i just never used it for this um so there's a let me see if i can get it hang on let me find it I actually have the device where you can change serial numbers hang on Uh, I have to go looking for it. Maybe if I find it, probably in the other room in one of the closets. But okay, so it's a little device, and I do, and I use it for unlocking iClouds. Not not on everything. It's only for a certain model. But you can openly buy these on AliExpress. Um, you can change serial numbers. So what they were doing, they were buying. Everybody knows of the iPhone clone, right? Like a cloned iPhone. You see them every now and then or somebody trying to sell you a cloned iPhone. It's not real, right? It looks like an iPhone, but it's actually running on like Android 12 and it has like an iOS launcher on it. Um, So what they were doing was they were taking serial numbers from real iPhones, same model, same color, same storage variant, because you can scan that, that serial number and like I have uh, on my servers here, I can scan the serial number and it'll pull up all the data on it, right? So they were taking real serial numbers. Now, what they were doing is they were taking these clones, cloned iPhones, I'm sure they were ordering from DAH Gate or uh, China, ordering these fake iPhones. They were taking serial numbers from real iPhones and essentially programming that serial number with that little device that I have plugging it in to the fake iPhone and programming it to the real serial number, programming it onto that cloned iPhone. And then what they would do is they would take that cloned iPhone with the real info on it and they would go to an Apple store, right? Or they would uh, call up Apple and say, hey, I have an issue with my phone. They say, no problem, send it in. So they sent in a cloned iPhone with a real serial number on it now when apple gets the phone whether it's in an apple store or uh the the headquarters you ship it into to get fixed they couldn't fix it it was a known issue that basically couldn't be fixed and the only way apple can uh, rectify that problem is just send you out of a replacement device so they were sending in they were sending in fake iphones and anticipation knowing apple would couldn't fix the issue so apple would send them a real iphone so i think you can buy a cloned and then they would sell that replacement iphone that they got from apple they'd sell it on swappa they would sell it on offer up mercari and then they would pocket the profit so you can buy a fake iphone um on DH gate. Let's actually, you know what? Let's try it. I mean, I'm not going to buy one, but let's see what they go for. And maybe we can see what their profits are. Uh, DH gate. Okay. Here's DH gate. Now, what if you type in the hell iPhone clone? All right. So look at this. So you can get, whoa, you can get a fake iPhone 16 Pro. 
iPhone original unlocked. So look, this is an iPhone XR converted to an iPhone 16 Pro. You can, oh look, they give you free AirPods as a gift. What do you know? Oh, so nice. Free, I'm sure those are fake too. Uh, so you can get a fake iPhone 16 Pro for $211. Um, not bad. $211 for a fake iPhone 16 Pro. So let's say, okay, and that's what? Uh, $1,000 brand new. So what they do is, look, this company here on DHgate converts and it is an iPhone, but it's an iPhone XR. And look, it does have a notch up top, which, duh, the iPhone 16 Pro has the dynamic island. It doesn't have the notch, but some people out here, they don't know. So essentially they're paying 200 bucks and I'm, they're buying in bulk, right? So you can get them if you buy more, you get what, 180. So they're buying them for 180. And what would they sell an iPhone 16 Pro right now? It goes for, shit, I don't know, uh, $1,000 or probably 900 bucks now since it's technically used brand new. It's 1000 So $1,000 minus the 180 that they paid for this fake device. Well, yeah, it's technically a fake iPhone 16 Pro. So minus 180 so they're profiting $820 on each device. Now, times 6,000, let's see how much money they made. And then we're just rough estimate, right? Okay, so 820 per device times 6,000. 4.92 million dollars. So they finally got busted, right? And how dumb can you be? It's a clever little hack uh, it's a clever little scam, but you don't think you're going to get caught, right? I can, I can imagine them getting away with it after you're doing like maybe three, four, five times. But 6,000 times, you don't think Apple's going to catch on. You don't think they're going to flag you, um, especially if they're going to the same Apple store every time. Imagine that, because look, every major city has ma at least one Apple store. I think here we have two. I think Houston has two or three, Dallas probably two or three. You can't go to the two or three stores like all the time. They're gonna be like, what the hell? This dude's coming in here all the time with a new iPhone that gotta be replaced every, every week. Like, it just doesn't make sense. So, and then especially if you ship them in, right? They're in the system. They're always going to see this iPhone. Now I'm sure they probably tried to get other people to do the same thing, but then just give them the money and then they give that person a cut, but you know, they're going to catch on stupid, right? You know, they're going to catch on and that's exactly what happened. <laughs> but, uh, I just thought it was an interesting case, an interesting story of a uh, clever little scheme, but turns out again, 6,000 times really. Like, come on. Anyways, um, let's see what else. Pixel 9a. Pixel 9a. So last week we got the first look at the Pixel 9a and here you go does look different than the traditional Pixel 9. So the A series, the watered down, cheaper version of the flagship Pixel series has always followed the design fairly similar to their flagship brother, sister series device, right? And Google traditionally has that uh, camera bar going across the back. The A series would always have a bar across the back, even though sometimes it'd be a little smaller or less, less pronounced. This year, they're making the device with no camera bar. Meanwhile, the Pixel 9 series, the flagship series, continues with the little camera island back there. So this one's just gonna have where the sensors are, no bar. Um, that's the main design change. Um, now, Google bumped up the release date of this Pixel 9 series from October. They traditionally released the flagships in October. This year, they bumped it up to August. 
Well, they're doing the same thing for the 9A series or for the A series. Traditionally, the Pixel A series has always been released in May. This year, they're moving it up. So this year, they're going to release it in March. Now, not a drastic two months of a bump up like the Pixel 9 series was. But uh, this one is just one month in advance. But um, look, the sooner we can get these, the better for the consumer, right? Now, this isn't just a one-time deal, and that's the news today, is that they're going to release this in March, and it's going to continue until they change it. Meaning, not only is the Pixel 9a going to release in March 2025, but the Pixel 10a is going to release in March of 2026. So... A little bit of news there if you're interested in this device and I'm sure it should be a pretty good device it's gonna have that tensor g4 CPU in there I've look I know I dogged it when we first got the news and the benchmarks of this g4 tensor um, but I don't have any complaints right I kind of eat my own words sticking my foot in my mouth uh, but that's fine I don't have any problems being wrong uh, it's been a wonderful device battery life on here is insane and I, you can expect that from this device um, so the pixel 9a will have the tensor g4 it'll have a 90 hertz display not sure of the cameras on the back but i'm sure they'll be pretty pretty damn good pixels always take good good photos um i think the only thing that we really be missing is wireless charging i don't use wireless charging so what do i care Display will be a nice AMOLED display. And the screen size, I believe, shall be 6.3. We don't know for sure, but it appears it's going to be like a 6.3-inch display. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. And, again, the Pixel 9a series is a really good device um, for anybody, right? Even myself. Or if you need a second phone, right? This is a perfect second phone to have. Um, if you need to get your teenager their first phone or grandparent or parent that's a little older, perfect um, uh, device for those types of people that just want a phone, right? The Pro and the Pro XL are more for people that really want the enthusiasts like us, right? And the A series is for security and simplicity, right? You don't want to worry about your phone. You don't want to worry about this. You don't want to worry about that. And it will be updated for seven years in the future. Get a Pixel 9a, right, when it comes out. So they're they're phenomenal. Um, uh, what else do we got? Colors. Colors were released. You're going to get porcelain. You're going to get white. You're going to get obsidian, which is black. You're going to get peony, which is pink here we go and you're going to get what is it uh puny and iris what the hell is iris let's see oh they're gonna have a blue Let's see. If y'all want these wallpapers, I'll put the link down below. They look basic. I'm not a big fan of pixel wallpapers. They look kind of girly to me, so I don't really rock those. But I'll put the link down there if you want them. Um, iris. So they're going to have white. They're going to have black. They're going to have pink. And it appears they're going to have... I don't know what iris is, though. I don't, I don't know. I wish they would just say white, black, pink, blue. Like, why do they got to... I don't know, name it all these weird names. Just just tell me if it's white or black or silver, gray, pink, blue, purple, whatever, red. So, uh, anyways, that's the Pixel 9a news for the day. So, I'm going to get up on out of here where I'm at about an hour. Um, Daniel says, I see a lot of people not want the new iPhones because it has AI. Oh, wow. Not because it's been delayed. No shit. People, uh, lots of fear of AI still. Damn, that's crazy. I didn't think of that. I thought it was the opposite. Uh, interesting. I may look into that. That's, um, I had no, I had no idea. So, um, uh, pretty interesting. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me and discussing tech news. I do it every day and try to do it every day. 
Uh, we'll come back tomorrow. Tomorrow's a Friday. I think I'm going to try and do a giveaway tomorrow. It's been a while. Been busy with other stuff, so I do apologize. But I'll put a community post out. I'll find something to give away. Um, I got something here to give away. Why don't we do that? Let's do a giveaway Friday. It's been a while. It's been a couple weeks since I've done a giveaway. So let's do that. Come back. See us tomorrow on the live stream. We'll do a giveaway. Um, and uh, we'll enjoy the Friday. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Please be safe. Take care. Peace out.